everybody so last week i released a video onto the case when concepts into my advanced sql playlist so by the way if you haven't checked out that awesome playlist you should definitely consider to check them out because into that particular playlist i've covered some of the advanced level concepts which interviewers tend to generally ask the interviews so i would highly recommend you to check that playlist but if you've watched the case when statement so as i've mentioned i'll bring in two more videos so this is the part two and into this particular part we'll be uh, learning about using the aggregate functions with the case when statement now this is a very pretty much a uh, famous concept i'll say because it makes the analyst's life a bit easier and uh, so we'll be learning and uh, seeing this particular concept into a lot of more detail so i'll be explaining this uh, into the excel as usual so two or three interesting problems into this particular concept so that will help you to clear uh, the case when concepts as well so forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you found the content useful so let us quickly get back to our screen everybody you can see onto my screen i have a very small data set here so into the first column i have the student id and into the second column i have the marks now if you haven't watched my case when video i'll give a bit of summary what exactly is the case when uh, into the sequel so you can consider the marks column here so what if i want to you know segregate all of these marks into this range of marks so if the marks is between 63 to 100 the student grade should be excellent if the marks is between 33 to 62 the student grade is pass and if the marks is between 0 to 32 the student is fail so we'll be solving this particular problem using the case when statement so case when statement is helps us to apply the conditional expressions into much more better way so we can can put these or we can apply all of these conditions and we can use the case when statement to make a new column which will be grade where we'll be having the grade corresponding to all of these marks let's go back to a sql server management studio i'll have imported the same data set here into our ssms what i'll do is i'll do a select start from table one I'll execute this code. Now I want to create that bucket, correct? Let us do one thing. Let us get that bucket in our SSMS itself. It will be, be so it will be a little bit easier for us. So I'll just write here case when. So the score is greater than sixty-two. Then what should be the grade? The grade should be excellent. When score is greater than 32, then the grade is pass. When the score is okay, so we can just try it so. No more condition is there, so we can just write a else and we can present here for rest of the conditions what should be the criteria. So it, for all of the other marks, it should be failed. So I'll end this as end the column as the column of grade. And that's it. We will execute this code. So you can see a new column grade has been created and you can see here the score 72 is lying between 63 to 100 so the student has provided the grade as excellent the score 16 is lying between 0 to 32 the grade is fail similarly 69 is between 63 to 100 the grade is excellent 43 is pass and 23 is fail so friends this is how we have executed this command in the case when statement so the syntax is pretty much simple we need to write here case when so we need to mention the condition uh, here whatever we have discussed so if the condition is true we'll get the output this is a brief on the case when statement but this video is more than just introducing the case when statement and here we'll be learning how to use the case when statement in the aggregates so we'll go back to our excel sheet
I have another data set right here. So into the column A, I have the order ID. Into the column B, I have the state ID in which the order is being delivered or shipped or packed. Uh, in the column C, I have the status of the order, whether the order has been shipped, delivered or packed and the amount of the order. Now friends, what if I want to get the information uh, and the output, I want to know according to the state number of orders which are into the shipment number of orders which are into the delivered stage and the number of orders which are into the patches what if i want to get uh, this view so friends how will we be solving this particular problem we can solve this problem using the case when statement with aggregates let us see how to do this so I'll go to my SSMS where I've imported the same data set. Let's execute this. Right here, select star from table two. I will execute this statement. What I want is, I want the state ID and i want to know how many orders are into the shipment stage how many orders are into the delivered state and how many orders are into the packed state so case when i'll be using the case when statements so case when status is equal to shipped then order id and as uh, this should be ship orders i'll copy this statement and paste it here case when i'll do the similar thing for the delivered don't worry i'll explain this into detail into the excel sheet but first of all whatever are my thoughts i just want to put it here so that you guys are aware of what i am actually doing so we have done for shipment we have done for delivered we will be doing for packed now it is much now it is pretty much clear what does the case when statement does so basically i want to count the number of orders which are into the shipment stage so how do we get to know like if the order is into the shipment stage or not definitely using the status column so that is what i'm mentioning so case when status is equal to shipped then i want to count the order id so definitely i want to count the order id so i will need to write here count of order id similarly here count of order id same for packed as well count of order id and after this i'll need to mention here from which table i want to gather this information i'm gathering this information from table two later on i'll be grouping by onto the basis of the state id let us execute this code let us see what is the output which we are getting here so you can see i've got one output let us quickly verify if this is correct or not so shipped orders delivered orders and packed orders so this is shipped this is delivered and this is packed this is the distribution which we are having according to the state and this is the state id so into the state id as s1 you can see the number of shipment uh, the number of packets into the shipment stage is one so i'll do one thing i will let me just short this onto the basis of the state id i will copy this paste it according to the states because if you remember into my query i have created groups and onto which column i have created the groups so you can see i have created the groups onto the basis of the state column so i'm just 
aggregating the group and I'm presenting it separately because that is how the operations have taken place on to each of these groups. So these are separate entities so different colors so this is for group s1 or the state s1 this is for state s2 and this is for state s3 so friends uh let us just quickly verify if the output which we have got is correct or not so for state s1 there is only one order into the shipped section so this is pretty much clear into the state s2 there are one two and three orders into the ship so this is also pretty much clear coming to state three we have only one order into the shipped section so this is also pretty much clear now friends if you can solve this problem into any other way definitely you can solve because there are a lot of different ways to solve this particular problem but the most optimized way to solve these kind of problems are using the case and statement with the uh, aggregate functions but if you can solve uh, this problem into any other way do mention your solution into the comment box so we have created the different groups here as you can see now how are we deriving into this particular output or how is the query internally it is working so internally it is working somewhat like so after the group has been created so you can see we have created the group the very first condition you can see here into the brackets so case when status is equal to shipped then order id so we'll just go to the status column into each of the individual groups so wherever it is shipped let us say it will be true and wherever it is not shipped it will be false so only once is it is true so after this has entered into the group one it will count the order id so wherever it is true so you can see into this group also the condition which we have applied of case when status is equal to ship then order id so whichever rows into the group itself the status is, is equal to ship it will filter out from here and into this i am telling to count the number of order ids now from this particular group we have created one more subgroup using the case when statement and into the subgroup i am counting the number of counting the number of order ids that's it that is what i am doing so how many order ids are present into now this small subgroup which you can see because none of them are you know other than the first row none of them are shipped so how many orders are present only one so that is why we got here one now coming to group second group s2 the same filter or the same you know condition will take place so wherever it will be shipped let us mark that as true so this will be false true true false 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 true that's it now when wherever it is true again there will be a subgroup which will be created i'll create the subgroup here wherever it is true and after the subgroup has been created now into this particular group i would want to count the number of order ids you can see count the number of order ids so into this group how many order ids present three so that is why we have got here three so friend this is exactly how the query internally it is working i would recommend you to go back into the the video from the time i have been starting to explain the internals of the query working rewatch it and then again come back to the solution you will definitely feel better and you will definitely feel you have understood what i was trying to convey here so friends this is how we have done now the same thing let us do what if i want to know how many like the like the transaction amount into each of the state 
how much is into the shipped how much it is into the delivered and how much it is into the packed so instead of count we'll use a sum and that will do the necessary thing i'll do the sum and you can see the output which i have got so let us just quickly verify for let us this 27 we'll verify for 27 how do we arrive at this 27 so 27 deals with packed what is the packed packed is the third condition so 27 is for state one so wherever it is packed okay so this is i think counting the id so instead this should not sum of order id this should be sum of amount i'll do the changes let us re-execute this query here we've got the details i'll just replace this i we were looking and into the packed and the s1 so how have we arrived at this particular number which is somewhat 1,14,172 rupees so this is packed and this is the s1 so whichever rows into the group this both of these conditions are true will filter out those rows so i can see only two rows which have this condition as so this is also packed and s1 this is also packed and s1 i'll filter out after this into now this particular subgroup which they have created from the condition of case when uh, status is, is equal to packed in now into this particular subgroup i will apply the sum function which you can see onto your screen i've applied this sum function and this is how we are arriving at this particular number which you can see so friends this is basically how the query internally it is working and uh, this is a pretty much simple level problem into the interviews is is being asked a lot of many times so i would recommend you to solve a lot of many different problems into the same concept which will help you to clear your interviews you can rewatch this video if you want to understand the internals how does this query internally it is working basically first of all on whichever column you want to create the group or you want to do the aggregate we create the we 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 create that particular aggregate and whatever conditions which you want to put you can put all those conditions and from these aggregates those rows will be filtered out and whatever aggregate function sum count min max you want to apply will be applied on that particular subgroup from the aggregate group which you have been creating so this is basically the summary you found this video quite useful and informational so don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't till then keep watching my sql playlist and meet you in the next video thank you so much bye